Bob Kerrigan speaking for Kerrigan Estes, Rankin McLeod, and Thompson. You've probably wondered what in the world does PIP mean, P-I-P. -P. It means personal injury protection. But how does that work if you're injured in an accident in Florida? Here's how it works. If you are involved in an automobile accident, regardless of who's at fault, if you have insurance, the state required the insurance company to sell you personal injury protection coverage. And it means this, that you have up to $10,000 to pay for lost wages and for medical payments. There are some limits on that, but essentially it's $10,000 for lost wages and for, um, and for uh, medical expenses. But here's what's happened. Over a number of years since this no fault was passed in Florida, by the way, it's been a, just a terrible uh, disaster in Florida. But the insurance companies like it, and the reason they like it is because in order to be, quote, insured to drive on a Florida highway, all you need is this personal injury protection coverage, which is only $10,000, and property damage. Florida doesn't require insurance companies to insure people to make sure that when they kill someone or cause terrible injuries to a person, that they're financially responsible. The insurance companies were quite happy with that law and still are. And so we have the PIP law and to be, quote, fully insured, all you need is property damage and PIP. And that's what we find a lot of drivers have. Later in another video, we'll talk about uninsured motorist coverage and how you can protect yourself from that uninsured driver, which is basically a driver without bodily insurance uh, coverage that just has PIP or property damage if you've been injured because of their fault. That's in our video, Uninsured Motorist Coverage, and I strongly encourage you to watch it. And when you do, order uninsured motorist coverage from your insurance agent and tell them you want all you can get because it protects you and your family. Well, back to PIP. So what happened with PIP? A very bad problem resulted, and it was this. In Florida, you must have a permanent injury in an automobile accident only, but in an automobile accident, you must have a permanent injury in order to recover against the person that was at fault. Well, when you had PIP coverage, a person would go, for example, to a chiropractor, and the chiropractor would charge medical bills up to $10,000 and then report that the person had a permanent injury, whether that permanent injury was factually true or not, that was the abuse that was uh, involved. Chiropractors charging, and other healthcare providers, but principally chiropractors charging medical expenses up to $10,000 and taking all, of the uh, taking all of the PIP coverage that was available. But then a rather insidious uh, relationship developed between some trial lawyers and some chiropractors, and it worked this way. You went to the lawyer, you were injured in an accident, but you didn't have a permanent injury, you have a soft tissue, or sore, whatever it might have been. So then the lawyer sent you to the chiropractor. The chiropractor charged up to $10,000 in PIP bills, paid by your insurance company, by the way. And then the chiropractor says, oh, well, by the way, you have a permanent injury. And back you went to the lawyer. And so the lawyer then made a claim against the person uh, who caused the accident. Whether you actually experienced a permanent injury was another matter, but that's how it worked. In fact, in some lawyers' offices, you find brochures for chiropractors. And sadly, in some chiropractors' offices, you find brochures for lawyers. This was a fairly significant problem. And so the Florida legislature curtailed now the amount of money that can be paid to a chiropractor to two hundred, or rather $2,500. Not $10,000, but $2,500. But we are still seeing and we are having reported to us this relationship between lawyers and chiropractors. So I offer this advice to you. Get competent medical care, and if that includes chiropractic care, that's totally up to you. But get competent medical care, but obtain that medical care without any hook or condition that you associate with a particular lawyer that the chiropractor is recommending or that the chiropractor has brochures in his office for that lawyer. And if a lawyer says, I'll send you to my chiropractor, you should leave that lawyer's office and retain a lawyer who's not affiliated in any way with 
doctors and chiropractors referring cases back and forth. You should try to get the best medical care you can, and we provide the best legal care we are able to provide, but we are not affiliated in any way with referral arrangements with particular doctors or chiropractors. Kerrigan Estes, Rankin, McLeod, and Thompson, we are board certified specialists in the handling of serious injury and accidental death claims. We'll be happy to talk to you without charge and without obligation at any time. Bob Kerrigan speaking for the firm. Thank you for watching.